What is going on guys today? We are looking at Michael Essien, the Ghanaian centre mid, the former Chelsea player, is in Icon SBCs. The one of two, Trezeguet and Essien, are the first two you can get in SBCs within the 30 days. Now Essien is coming in a little bit more expensive, the first expensive Icon SBC out of the two, and he's coming in at a whopping 450,000 coins. 50k cheaper than if you was to go buy him off the market. Again, a lengthy center mid here. And again, another cracking one that you could have got from your 85 to 86 icon upgrade. If you manage to get him, then you've got a big dub because you don't need to do the SBC. And you got a solid pull from that 86 max. He's a free star, free star. Unfortunately, I think the only negative really you can have with this card, even if we just scrap the skill moves, if we could get a four star weak foot, it would just heighten this card so much and we'll see why in the gameplay 510 high high we've obviously got no traits on him unfortunately and we're going to be whacking that shadow on him to give him 91 pace 92 defend him we've already got a little bit of shot power not too fussed about his shooting too much an okay amount of short pass decent dribbling to some extent for a center mid that's 85 a great amount of defending which obviously goes up with a shadow and a beautiful amount of physical but again this card is going to be high even more with the new gen because of that lengthy meta he's going to be a very quick addition into that attacking and defensive work which will do absolute wonders for your team even in old gen i do think this guy is still a very good cm box to box dm if you really wanted to he does a lot of work not necessarily the scoring type but most definitely from defense upwards in terms of maybe an assister he can get the job done so let's have a look and see how much Essien is worth, really. we we'll find him on the ball here. I'm just interested to see that agility balance from him. That's going to be the point that I want to see the most. I feel like that could be the kind of be-all and end-all of him, really. And that is the scary part. But being 500k, I'd assume he's got something about him. I just can't see him being that expensive as an 85 icon, especially with that SBC coming out. I feel like a lot of people would have judged him by now and the price would have either dropped if people weren't happy or if it was just purely for the fact he is hard to pack. Essien, beautiful tackle, laid and waited for him. We're going to get the lengthy component here that's going to do wonders to get this ball out and straight onto the attack like we said. Essien, again, even when the defenders are out of position, you know he's there as that defensive unit to bring it through. Essien straight on him, very quick to get that ball and it's a stunning ball into Mbappe. Who's going to go for the shot. And it's beautiful. Straight from an interception. Mbappe with a through ball. And then it's a great goal. Essien away. Gets a little bit of a head onto it. He's going to see the seconds beat Haaland to the ball. That is where a, a nice physical battle will happen. It's a good through ball into Mbappe. What happened to his long passing? It's definitely better than it's suggested out on there. Essien with the challenge. There is no way that was a free kick. Essien loses the ball to Hullet, wins it back off Hullet. Essien going for a run. He's going to go against Furlan Mendy, who personally is always going to have too much pace over, uh, over Essien. Essien sees the ball nice and composed. He's very good on the ball. Very, like I say, very composed on the ball, which is always perfect in a manner that you definitely need to have every amount of, of stat and skill on him. Again, a massive challenge from Essien. And again, if that one's not a free kick, there was no way the first one was. Into Essien. Looking for a little bit over. Can Mbappe try and get something? It's a nice pass from Essien. It just so happens goes just a little bit above Mbappe. And that could have been a nice ball into Trezeguet, if not. Oh, it's a great tackle from Essien. Honestly, as a powerhouse midfielder, he has been wonderful in this game. Charging down everybody, making the challenges count, bringing back possession. It's exactly what you need from a box-to-box, -box, as well as having some, some good passing. I would suggest, even with what his card says on him, he's going to go for that Traveller, isn't he? Even with the passing, what it suggests on the card... It's not quite as bad as Trent, but it just it just feels so much better and much better than what the centre mids that you kind of normally are seeing in people's teams. Personally, we are playing with normally uh, Tushimeni and Kessie, both lengthy, both very tall centre mids, and they work really well as that strength powerhouse. And Kessie, um, Essien is definitely doing his business in that midfield and really putting his name on the spot. 
Essien. You never know. He's looking looking for that spot with the Traveller. We're going to run out of trouble. Hull it. Oh, can we win it back? Oh, Essien. That, and that's what I'm saying. That powerhouse motion is stunning. And Essien with his Traveller. You love to see it. What a finish from the Ghanaian. And he's gone as well. So going into our man Essien then. So let's jump straight into these SBCs. 450 is what he's coming in at. As again, if you have not seen Icon SBCs before, the first two requirements are 11 rare bronze and 11 silver rare. Even if you do not want to finish these SBC icons, go and finish these two because you get two gold rares on both of them for just 22 rare players from bronze and silver uh, rarity easy as you like it put in your untradables put in your absolute lowest of lows you get yourself two packs that are tradable and have the chance of a big boy walkout very slim but you've definitely had the chance and i definitely have had some good value from these in terms of the rest an 84 one chelsea requirement 85 league gun 85 two 86s and above and a premier league 86 and an inform or a foot champs player again mason mount 87 rated and that is it done in terms of the 87 as we know they do get very difficult at this point of the game because if we have a look at the team they're using you are having oh god that's bright we are having to use a okay we're not going to get that we are having to use i don't think this is going to work no we are having to use as we'll go again we'll try again quite high rated players and there isn't loads of them i think the is the internet gone no we are using high rated players and like you see there is only so many and they are coming in quite expensive because we have had the team of the week picks uh, packs which do require an 85 and above may not affect too many of the 87 88s but most definitely as we go to the 85s and 86s will have some sort of value increase but like i say if you're trying to pick 11 players that are 87 and above you're looking at least at 188 maybe even an 89 i know i saw lewandowski in there again cheap for 50k so again you're looking between 50k and 35 getting an extra two value that will drop if you are struggling for any 87s go down into footbin and sbc rating com uh, combinations under the sbc tab absolutely brilliant it will tell you what you need in your squad now in terms of essien is he worth the actual cost if we can click on his name please Maybe not. Okay, internet's not playing ball with me today. He is a wonderful, wonderful player to get in the team. He's very consistent with the tackling. He's got great strength. His interceptions are incredible. The pace is good. The length he adds a great value. Obviously, his passing is decent. We saw some great balls into Mbappe, into Trezeguet, Sterling, into the wingers. He did very, very well. And I kind of would expect it, seeing as though he is at such a high price bracket, even if you didn't want to go for the SBC, you're looking at half a mil for this card. Now, you got to think, who else could I get for that price? We're obviously looking at above him. You've got the Hullets, the Vieiras, the Balaks. They're of, of a premium price and obviously give you a premium sort of uh, feeling once you're playing the game. If we're looking at the De Jongs, we're looking at the Kessies, we're looking at the Tusha Menis. They are a lot cheaper, give you the same sort of value, but Essien will give you it more on a consistent basis and obviously gives himself the free links without any need. Like I've said in previous Icon reviews, I hate the fact that all they've got is their nation because realistically Essien in this uh, form only gives a Ghanaian link to nobody so there is no league link because he already gets the free any icon gets the free so if an icon gives an icon link league then that doesn't matter because they're always on free so unfortunately they have screwed up there i feel like Essien should give any other league a plus one at the guaranteed and then obviously that makes icons that little bit more relevant in terms of teams now it's just basically go and get the best icon whack him in your team that's all that matters and again nations do matter as well well that's where the heroes for me comes in better the only other kind of uh, thing that I'm thinking is Marquisio, 600 and something K, absolutely stunning, just like this guy. If you're looking at a setup with where you want Essien, I think you could play either two roles with him, two box-to-boxes, because both of them are going to be fantastic at defense as well. You could go with two CMs, an Essien and maybe like a Kante, and then have a Cam in front, or you could just go straight DMs and have your wingers and attackers going forward. Essien sitting on the back hold, he's going to be able to get them passes out and also do the defensive duty. So for me, he is a wonderful, wonderful card to get in your team. I believe he does get 
worse in the mid and then better in the prime and then even better in the moments pretty sure the mid is considered the worst which would make sense with why he's literally about 150k cheaper and that i think is down to the massive pace decrease as well as just not looking as appealing as the base card does but in terms of this base it's a 10 out of 10 for me wonderful wonderful card we whack the shadow on him to get the 91 pace 92 defending the physicals, like I said, are incredible. Great stamina, great passing, short passing and long is good. The composure is the only bit that I'm a little bit concerned with. But I think at the start of the game through to maybe team of the year, that should really just see itself through. So let me know down below if you are completing this card or want to try the loan out. Check the videos out on the left-hand side. If you want to subscribe down below, then I will see you all for the next one. Peace.